Israel's border with Lebanon feels isolated and empty. In Matula, Israel's most northerly community, the only residents left are mobilized army reservists. Here, they're surrounded on three sides by Hezbollah, Iran's powerful ally in Lebanon. One of the men who didn't want his face shown pointed to Hezbollah's positions. A quarter of a mile, and then to the north is half a mile, the border with Lebanon, and then in the east of us, it is a half a mile. Definitely can, can turn into a big war, and a big war with Hezbollah is it's not like Hamas. The real army, very trained, greatly equipped, great intelligence, and they have a lot of experience, real experience in Syria. Israel released video of their attacks and what they said were Hezbollah positions. Tens of thousands of civilians on either side of the border have been evacuated. The war there is intensifying. Haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. More urgent for Anthony Blinken is a ceasefire in Gaza. But Prime Minister Netanyahu doubled down, calling for total victory and dismissing the Hamas response to the U.S. ceasefire proposal. The U.S. Secretary of State still believes a deal is possible and at the HQ of the rivals of Hamas, the Palestinian Authority, he repeated to President Mahmoud Abbas that America wants a Palestinian state which Israel's leader opposes and reminded Israelis later that their suffering was no justification for killing Palestinian civilians. That cannot be a license to dehumanize others. The overwhelming majority of people in Gaza had nothing to do with the attacks of October 7th. And the families in Gaza whose survival depends on deliveries of aid from Israel are just like our families. Their mothers and fathers, sons and daughters. Gaza is the key to stabilizing the Middle East. This is the occupied Golan Heights, another potential flashpoint where the borders of Israel, Lebanon and Syria meet. Over on the Syrian side, you can see ruins from previous wars. Antony Blinken warns this is the most dangerous moment for the Middle East since 1973. Without a ceasefire in Gaza, the risks that a wider war will intensify remain very real. Israel has heavily reinforced its northern borderlands. This is a former Syrian base occupied by the Israelis since 1967. Inside the ruin, the head of the regional council, a retired colonel, was preparing for the worst. If we go from here to where we're going, to Haifa, then they, they bomb us in Haifa. Then we go to Tel Aviv, then bomb us in, in uh, Tel Aviv. People prefer to move by night on the most exposed roads in northern Israel, in places shielded by blast-proof concrete walls. Don't think of this war on the Lebanese border as a sideshow to Gaza. It could become even worse. This is the most dangerous, the most unstable frontier in the Middle East at the moment. What started as a low-level war back in October has been intensifying, but all sides know how much worse it could get, not just causing great destruction in Israel and in Lebanon, but it's also got the capacity to ignite the region. The fate of the whole Middle East, not just Israel's empty, evacuated northern towns, depends on breaking through the shock and hatred of war. So far, the diplomats are fighting a losing battle. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News in Israel.